Hey, hey everybody, it's time for Facebook Friday. It's been quite a while since I have been live for Facebook Friday. In fact, the last Facebook Friday was November 20th. Now we did 12 days of Christmas Facebook Lives in between there, so I've been live a few times, but Facebook Friday is back today. And this is actually gonna be the last Facebook Friday of 2020. I'm gonna take the next two weeks off. Um, I hope you guys are taking some time off in the next two weeks. Um, to spend time with your family and do all the Christmas things. So this will be the last Facebook Friday for a few weeks. I won't be back until the first week of January. So hopefully today's projects will hold you over for a little while. Today we're going to do Snowflake Wishes. This is a really great set in the holiday catalog. The Let's see if I can remember. August to December 2020 Stampin' Up! mini catalog. That's the official name. <laughs> and it is carrying over right? Suddenly I'm saying that and I'm thinking, Erica, you should have double checked that. It's carrying over. It's going to be in, oh, some new catalog. Which one is it, you guys? Is it going to be in the annual catalog or is it going to be in the holiday catalog? Someone on here knows. Hi, Terry. I bet Terry knows. Terry, is this going to be in the next holiday catalog or the next annual catalog? They make it so confusing. It's not just retiring or staying. It's either going on hibernation and being, you know, an orderable until the holiday catalog or it, stay, it goes in the annual. I don't know. Anyhow, it's a great set. It has a Christmas greeting on it, but the other, oh, and a Hanukkah. Um, I forgot about that, but it also has other really good sentiments as well. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, let me find you guys over here on Facebook so I can see your comments a little bit better. Oh, well, I had it open. Oh, of course, Facebook app has to upload. It has to update. <sighs> Why would it do that when I was watching something, right? Merry Christmas, Robin. I'm so glad to see you guys. I'll be able to read your comments in a minute, hopefully. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm going to flip you guys around, and we're going to talk about the paper share that I'm doing in just a minute. Um, I want that to finish updating before I do that. Let me remind you of the all-star Artistry Blooms tutorial bundle. This is free with any $50 order. And um, it's also available in my PDF store. Now we do a subscription for this. This is 12 tutorials that feature one suite from the catalog, the annual catalog. Well, I guess the next one we're gonna do spring catalog. Um, and it goes for six months. And the next round of this begins in January. So subscriptions will open for this here towards the end of the month. Um, <laughs> Terry, I asked you something that you didn't know. You usually know everything. How is that possible? <laughs> Terry's my go-to. She usually knows. Um, thank you, Natalie. Thank you so much. Um, anyhow, subscription is coming up. If you would like to be a subscriber for this, you pay for five months, you get one free. Watch for the details of that next week. I will put that up on my blog. Okay, and that begins in January. But anyway, this is the last month of this round. It is available now. It's December's and it features the Artistry Blooms um, suite of products. And that's what my project looks like right there. The details on this, there's a link um, on the bottom of my blog post today. Okay, let's move on from there. Oh, come on, iPad. Let's see. Oh, okay, it's updated. Now let me see if I can pull you guys up so I can read your comments. I feel blind. Okay, good, there it is. All right, excellent. Okay, so today we're doing three projects with the Snowflake Wishes, but I'm gonna show you, I wanna show you guys a couple of things before we do that, okay? So I'm gonna move this to the side and I'm gonna flip you guys over. Um, so close your eyes for a second. Hi, Susan having a great week. I know some of you are digging out of the snow up there, so this is like perfect timing. Um, I think uh, all of you up north, you don't love the snow very much, except it seems like maybe you guys like the first snow. I see a lot of excitement about this snow, but then as the season drags on, you don't like the snow so much. I guess snow is fun around Christmas, and then after that, it's just a nuisance, right? I wouldn't know. It never snows here, ever. <laughs> I mean, really, like once in maybe 10 years, it might flurry, and that's about it. Okay, thank you. Susan says, it's on the carryover list. Um, so, Susan, is it going to be in the annual catalog or the next holiday? Okay, good. Patricia, I see. She says the next annual catalog. So, that means 
that it is not going away. You will still be able to order it. Um, you know, like the things that are going to be in the holiday catalog next year, you won't be able to order them until that catalog comes out. But this, according to Patricia, she's telling us it's going to be in the annual catalog. You know, these are details that I should check before I go live. They really are. Uh, last had three feet of snow. No, you hate the snow, especially this amount. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Um... So, Les, you don't like it at all. Like, even at the beginning of the season, it's not fun. Around Christmas, not fun. I, I, I can see why it would not be fun. You know, we were in West Texas a few weeks ago and had a big, giant surprise snowstorm, and we loved it. It was so fun. But it's also messy and cold and, you know, causes problems on the road and all that. So, I can understand. Okay, so let's talk about the paper share. I sent out an email and a blog post day before yesterday about the paper share. A paper share is where you get a little bit of all the new paper that's in the new catalog. Usually I do a paper share and a ribbon share, but this time there's only five new ribbons and then some twine, which I don't include in my ribbon shares anyway. And so five new ribbons isn't really enough for me to do a ribbon share. So this time I am only doing a paper share. And um, my paper shares, you, you have two choices. You can do the six by six version, which means you'll get a six by six sheet like this of everything I'm going to show you. Or you can do a six by 12, which means I cut the 12 by 12 paper in half and you get a six by 12 of all of those and then a full sheet of all the six by sixes. Okay, so I thought I would flip through. I've, have some of you gotten your catalogs? They should be coming soon. I know somebody got one. I always send myself one and I haven't gotten mine yet. So, and you guys with the shipping <laughs> and the mail situation that is happening in our country right now, I mean, it'll be a miracle if we get those catalogs before they go live. If you guys haven't been watching the news or seen the pictures I posted on Facebook, our poor nail people, UPS people, FedEx people are inundated. You know, it's like a perfect storm because of the pandemic, everybody's ordering. Then the vaccine now is going to start shipping. And now the snow up north, it is causing a complete shipping nightmare. There's like gridlock everywhere. So patience, we've all got to be super patient. Um, and that includes with that new catalog that's coming. Okay, so patience, patience, patience. Okay, so here is one of the new papers. Um, now, I'm not going to know the names of these yet. Dragonfly, Dandy, Garden, something. Oh, look, here's the cardboard. Will it say on this? Dandy Garden. You can tell I've already used it. Dandy Garden. So you would get one sheet of each of these. Very springy. Then here is... Where am I going to put all of this? Let me make a place. Here is... Um, this is... What, well, I'm calling this the Valentine paper, but it's really not. It's the black and white paper. And, oh, I'm not even going to attempt to tell you the names because I don't know. But we love black and white paper, right? So there's that paper. This is the, um, oh, good. Here's a name. Fine Art, <laughs> Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper. And this paper is amazing. If you guys can see the texture on there, um, it looks like it was created with a palette knife and paint. Um, my daughter does that. She has, um, she's an artist and she does paints like that. And it's like blows my mind. But anyway, these are um, gorgeous papers. And this is the paper I'm featuring in my Club Create in January. So you'd get a bit of that. Here's the mercury glass paper. This is gorgeous. We've had this kind of mercury glass stuff before, but not in these colors purples and pinks. Okay. <clears throat> so there's that. There's only one paper I don't have and it's the acetate that goes with the art gallery paper. I used all of it when I was planning my class. So I don't have any of that to show you. Ice cream paper. Super cute. Look at that. So adorable. All right. Look at that. You better believe I'm going to be doing a class with this paper. So, so stinking cute. The little stripes. They have them in the catalog. They use the stripes on a baby card and it's just adorable. A lot of watercolor on this. The watercolor look. Okay. And, oh, those are so cute. I haven't really given myself a lot of time to look at all of this. Very, very cute. 
Okay, and then this is probably the, well, I don't know, I'm gonna say that like 10 times, the most gorgeous paper in the whole catalog, the Hydrangea Hill. I will be doing a class with this as well at some point. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Watercolor again, it looks like. A little watercolor feel. <clears throat> hydrangeas always remind me of my mom and my grandmother. My grandmother had a huge hydrangea bush in her yard. And my mom had them in her yard too in Memphis before she moved here. All right, so this is a celebration paper. In the paper share, you'll also get um, some samples of the celebration paper. And I love this paper. They knocked it out of the park with the paper in these next two catalogs, the Celebration and the um, Spring spring Catalog. Amazing, that's Celebration paper. Okay, and then the Snail Mail, this is so cute. Look how cute, I love this. Oh, so cute. There's those stripes again, those little stitching stripes. The mushrooms, hearts. Look at him, he's so cute, he's got a mustache. We used to have a mustache dye. You guys remember that? I still have it, I loved it. It was just a single dye. Oh, cute, look at that, so cute. Okay, so that's snail mail. I'm just giving you guys an idea of what you will get in your paper share if you wanna register for the paper share. Now this is some specialty paper, it's lightweight and it's foiled. It's only colored on one side, and there are three different uh, colors, I believe. All right, that's in the Valentine section of the catalog. Here's some foil. I bet that's, I don't know what they're calling that, but it looks like a champagne. And one of the pinks, or maybe it's a Highland Heather, I don't know. And then that looks like maybe petal pink. And this, okay, I'm gonna say it again, the most gorgeous paper in the catalog. I've already said it once. Watercolor again. There, Stampin' Up's loving the watercolor look. Look at that, look at that texture. That looks like the salt technique, doesn't it? Very, very pretty, look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my gosh, look at that. God, I don't even wanna cut that, that's so beautiful. That's gonna be, that's gonna make fun beach cards as we get closer to the summer. And then another cute stripe. I love stripes. That looks like water, doesn't it? All right, and then last but not least, here is the other celebration paper. I think this is my favorite celebration paper. Look how cute this is. It coordinates, the colors coordinate and they're bold and bright. Well, if I can get this piece, I'll turn it, look at that. Look at those two together. This this pattern looks really good with that that paper. See how cute that is? And let's see, okay, we did the yellow polka dot. Polka dot, that would be cute with that. The, this, I'm telling you, this pack of paper, this is my favorite. It is really, really good. I had, I made my team's birthday cards for this month with this paper and I had such a hard time putting the patterns together because I loved them all. Like I couldn't decide, I couldn't settle on which ones should go together because I just loved them all. I really like this one with this. Look at that, stripe and flowers. So cute. Okay, so anyhow, that's the paper share for the spring. Um, Signups are open through January 5th. I will order it all on January 5th. It will take um, a week or so to get to me. It'll take me a week or so to cut, pack, and ship. My goal is to have it out by the last week of January. Um, you can get the paper share six by six pieces or six by 12 pieces, okay? Um, they ship priority mail, flat rate with tracking and insurance. And if you, you will get celebration paper free with it. Let me think of what else I want to tell you. And there's no ribbon shares this time, which feels really weird. I have done paper and ribbon shares for as long as I can remember. But this year, I just felt like there wasn't enough ribbon to justify, whoops, did I just shake the camera? I just felt like there wasn't enough ribbon to really justify a, a ribbon share. Okay, that is out of the way. Um, okay, here's the art gallery 
Club Create um, sign up. Or you can not sign up. You can subscribe to this. This will be January's Club Create. They're all fancy folds featuring that new art gallery paper um, and the art gallery stamp set, which is this right here. Um, so five fancy fold cards. Um, you get twenty dollars in product. Five fancy fold cards. Um, it includes shipping. It's $39. You can subscribe um, for one month, six months, 12 months, whatever you want to do. You can cancel any time. Uh, and the link is there's a tab at the top of my blog that says um, uh, Club Create and... The details are there. The PDF is available now too, if you just want the PDF. Patricia's asking me about pricing on those paper shares. And I, I'm i gonna tell you, but I'm not 100% sure that I'm quoting you the right price. 49 for the six by 12, 31 for the six by six. And they both ship for $8. But double check me on my, cause I have a whole blog post about it. And I don't, you know, <laughs> making me recall information is difficult these days so I may be telling you I may be off by a few dollars but it's all over there and you can you can read it and read um, exactly what you're gonna get okay so here we are Facebook Friday this Facebook Friday is gonna be a little bit different usually I say I'm gonna send you these three projects for free with an order by Monday I'm not doing that this time because I'm taking two weeks off. I thought about it, but then I thought, nope, that will be a, a day's of day worth of work. I'm not going to do it. I want to be able to bake cookies with my kids next week and do, you know, relax and not work. So I'm not going to send these. Um, but what I am going to do, any orders from here on until January 4th that are over $50, I'm going to send you a pack of handmade cards. There will be 10 cards and 10 envelopes in the pack. Um, and those will be free. And I will mail those when I get back into my office in January, okay? So a little bit different this week. However, that's the only thing that's different. The PDF is over there at pinkbuckaroo.com. It's got all the measurements and the products that you need for these projects today. Um, and information about Club Create and the Paper Share. There's links on there as well, okay? Okay, I was going to show you the make and takes, but I'm not sending make and takes this time, so I don't know why I pulled those out. That's usually what they look like. We'll be back to our normal free make and takes in January, okay? How about prizes? I told you guys in the last 12 days of Christmas that I was going to pick a winner the next day, and I never did it. We had a horrible week <laughs> last week in my defense. Um, my dad was in the hospital. He's fine now, but it was scary and crazy around here. My, We had some trouble at school that I was dealing with and it was crazy so I never got to it I apologize but I picked the winners today Karen Bongarts you are the winner of Peaceful Bows Karen I don't believe I have your mailing address so please message me and Chris Christina I have your mailing address ornamental envelope so I will get that in the mail to you tomorrow it may arrive in six weeks <laughs> who knows how long the mail is going to take um and then this is what I'm going to give away this week. I will, well, this time, next time I do Facebook Live, I'll pick two winners from who shared this video on Facebook. And I'm giving away this the Zoo Globe stamp set. Isn't it cute? It goes with the um, snow globe dies. And I haven't used it yet. It's so cute. Look at the little koala and the kangaroo. So cute. Okay, so there you go. Share the video if you want to win. And... We are cleaned off. You guys, I have to show you this. I brought this over here. Lois sent me a gift in the mail this week, just a random surprise Christmas gift. And it was so funny because I have been getting a lot of Amazon things because I ordered all of our Christmas stuff from Amazon. And I was like, what is this? Did, who did I order this from? And then I saw the little card and it was from her. You guys, it's a little desktop vacuum. And it vacuums up all the little things on your desk and I love it. When we cut out these snowflakes today, we're gonna use it, it's gonna pick up all the doodads, it's so cute. So Lois, thank you so much. That was super thoughtful of you um, to send me that. It, it's something I didn't know I needed and now that I have it, oh my gosh, I'm a little bit obsessed with it. I even took it into the living room last night because I was doing some things with dimensionals and I was cleaning up the dimensionals backing on, off my couch. <laughs> it's really fun. Okay, I think we're ready to stamp. Let me move this over here and this over here so I can see. 
So I had a hard time deciding what to do. Did I want to do full Christmas today or did I want to kind of move on? I didn't know what to do. So I was thinking, where are you guys at right now? You're probably where I'm at. Last minute, kind of frantic, um, gift card holders, you know, that kind of thing. So that's what I decided. I'm using Snowflake Wishes, which will also... These two projects specifically are not Christmas, specifically. They can be, but they can also just be gifts for January, February. Um, but this one is a gift card holder that I made 15 of these for school. Um, my kids took them to school um, today, and this is the only one I have left. So um, I'm going to show you how. It, this is the gift card holder I make every year at this time because it is fast and easy. So I'm going to show you how to make that. But let's start with this little box here. I found something so cute at Walmart in, the, you know, their Christmas section. They're these little mini um, bath bombs. Look, it's a little snowman bath bomb. I think, oh my God, they're not bath bombs. You guys, they're gumballs. <laughs> I have been calling them bath bombs the whole time. You know, I should have let my kids put them in the bath. That would have been hilarious. When I brought them home, my kids were all like, oh, okay, I want those, I want those. I was like, no, they're for a project. Darn it. So now I'm gonna have to go change the title of my video to triple bath bomb box, from triple bath bomb box to triple gumball box. Oh, is this what today's gonna be like? All right, anyways, they're gumballs. They could be bath bombs if you want to chew gum in the bath. But anyway, the best part is that they're a dollar and they're so cute. And they don't have to be for Christmas, right? You can make them for um, any time. So that's what we're gonna do. This would be a great gift for January. I'm also using the snowman season, this little guy um with the snowflake set i feel like that was a perfect um stamp set to go along with the snowflake wishes right because hello it's a snowman all right let me get let me get all my stuff i cannot wait to tell my kids there aren't bath bombs okay i bought three you know because i make three of them <laughs> and they thought they were for them but they're not Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's see. I am going to need to focus <laughs> and get this done. Now, if you guys hop over to my blog under the last photo, there is this PDF and everything you need is right here. Um, there are a lot of measurements today, a lot of um, measurements that you'll need for today's project. And I have a couple of sneak peeks today too from the spring catalog. You'll see. Okay. Breathe in, Erica. Breathe out. Local drugstores have the snowman bath bombs. Michelle, do they? Are they three like that? I totally looked at it. It looked like bath bombs, and I just, you know, in my haste, saw bomb. Like, I thought, those are big gumballs. I'm sorry. I couldn't chew that. <laughs> I can't wait to tell my kids. Okay, let's focus. This is Night of Navy, eight and a half by nine and three fourths. We're going to score the long side at half an inch two and a half and seven and three fourths. And then we're gonna turn it and we're gonna score the short side at two, four, six, and eight. So two, four, six, eight bucks. And let's get our bone folder and burnish all this. So you guys, you helped me get to my 900,000 goal <clears throat> back in September. And guess what? I'm pretty close to the million. I think it'll be sometime next month. So be looking for a lot of excitement from me next month. It's probably gonna be the end of next month or the beginning of February. I can't wait. It's selling a million dollars in stamps, paper and ink is pretty amazing. All right, cut these off the end, and I'm gonna cut that right there, like that. See how I did that at an angle? Now, when we put this box together, I want this rough edge at the back, so I kinda have to visualize what I'm doing. All right, so the rough edge is gonna be at the back. This one is gonna be what folds down in the box, and these two are gonna be the sides, um, the little short sides that fold in, okay? So this one right here, we're gonna cut that off completely. It'll make sense to you in a minute, once you look at it. 
And I did do clean recordings of this, so if you want to come back and um, make this, you can go over and watch it. But I'm going to tell you it's a bath bomb <laughs> in the video. <laughs> okay, so these two right here we're just cutting in half. All right, now this one we're going to cut at an angle like that. Okay, now we've got this one left. So I'm going to fold that in, and I'm just going to come over here and cut that off. It is very exciting. Thank you, guys. Um, the fun, exciting part is that Stampin' Up! calls you, and they say, okay, you're almost there. We need some information. Um, they send you a questionnaire, and they want to know all kinds of stuff about you. They're going to... Um, make a pretty big deal of it, which is exciting. My kids keep saying, you, <laughs> they think I, when I say my million dollars, they think I'm making a million dollars. And I'm like, no, no, <laughs> there's a big difference between selling a million dollars in stamps and earning a million dollars. Um, but they still hear a million and they get excited. Okay, so I cut those at an angle. Now I'm going to lay this down. If you are come if you come back and watch this and you want to pause the video so you can see exactly how I trimmed the paper. Um, that's what I do when I watch videos. I pause it and then I trim my paper to look just like that. Okay, so now I have the, I have four pieces of the paper, the design series paper. It is called, I keep calling it the wrong thing, Snowflake Splendor is what it's called. Snowflake Splendor. And I am going to put it on here if I can get my, come on, come on, there we go. These pieces, I believe, are five inches by one and three fourths, but that's over on the, that's over on the um, PDF, so make sure you cut it out. Um, cut it out. Make sure you print it or save it. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It'll be there forever and ever. All right, so we put those on there. Now we're going to get our adhesive and go down that tab and fold over like that. All right, so now you can see these two side flaps. You know, let's cut those. I like to cut the corners off of just every flap. It just makes things go together so much better. All right, so that's how you'll close your box, like that and like that. And then we're gonna adhere this one. The front is the last panel I want to go in. So I'm just gonna, oh, come on. It's definitely gonna be one of those days put adhesive on the back one and then the front one and then let's put our little gumballs <laughs> and like that okay so there now I have got now this paper this designer series paper has lots of blues in it and it's got purples and uh, so really you can interchange colors the blues on here and some some of the sheets are more purple some of them are more blue, but this one um, has a lot of night and navy, but this uh, Misty Moonlight, not Midnight Muse, Misty Moonlight ribbon goes well. See? Okay, so there. Now we've got that. Let's make our little snowman guy. And let me bring all of this over here. This snowman stamp set, the snowman season, when it came out, Oh, was it last year or was it the year before? I feel like it's been out for a while. It was super duper popular. And so I'm sure many of you have it. I'm just gonna color his nose. That's it, with pumpkin pie. Okay, punch him out. Now you'll notice the punch has a hat and arms, but we're not going to, I'm not going to mess with stamping the arms. That's, that's, it's kind of hard because they're so skinny. It's hard to line them up. So I'm just going to punch them out from early espresso and they will be, you know, twigs. Yvonne, you like blue. Yeah. Then you probably really like this paper. It's a lot of different blues. I put way too much. Hold on. I put way too much. It'll never dry. 
All right, put that one. And I couldn't really decide. Did I want his arms down or up or whatever? So I decided he's excited. So I put them, <laughs> he's, he's like, hey guys, he's happy. Now this um, label is a little sneak peek from um, a die set in the spring catalog that goes with the succulents. Uh, it's called Simply Succulents Dies. And uh, that whole set is gorgeous, but I love this label and I wanted to use it. So I'm gonna stamp our friendship is one of a kind. And now we're just gonna layer all of this. I have, I have uh, cut out using our Snowflake uh, Wishes dies, some Magenta Madness snowflakes because yes, hot pink snowflakes, I'll take them. And I'm just gonna glue them like that. And then we will get our dimensionals and do that. I wonder if I'm the only one that's made that mistake, bought those and thought they were bath bombs. They had some other ones too. I can't remember what they had. They were all like three stacked like that. Bath bombs would be more fun. There's no way somebody can chew that gum. <laughs> well, I'm sure kids can. All right, there you go. Easy peasy. That's an easy treat. Um, some of you have been asking me about super simple, fast and easy. I pretty, I think this is pretty fast and easy. And a dollar at Walmart. Yeah, I think you can do it. All right. Okay, so there we go. That's our first project. Let me move my giant gumballs out of the way. And we're going to make the next project... Let me clean all this up. Hold on, please. Where did I put my tray? Oh, right here. All right. Today's my kid's last day before break. And you know, our school district is letting them, well, they let us choose distance learning or in person. And you better believe I've chose in person. But <laughs> the the number of kids at school has been dwindling and dwindling. Like it's getting smaller and smaller because kids can just stay home. Well, yeah, they're going to want to stay home and just do school online. But I'm making my kids go to school. They're so mad. Hey, can we please stay home? Like, no, you cannot. You cannot. You need to go to school. So they were very excited today. They were like, I bet we're the only ones at school today. Well, that'll be fun then, I think. <laughs> They don't like it when I'm sarcastic. Okay, in here, this is a little slider box that has these Vaseline lip therapies. I'm sure you guys have seen these. I had never seen this vanilla cream latte and I looked for it on Amazon and did not see it on Amazon. Um, my daughter and I were at Target. We got them at Target. So if you're looking for them, but if you can't find them, this box will hold any of them. They come in all different flavors. There's like a rosy, there's one that's like gold something. I don't know. There's a ton. So this little box will hold these. And, you know, if you want to change the decorations of the colors to match the tin, you can. And that makes a really nice gift too. You know, my dermatologist told me that you should never use any chapstick except Vaseline. She says that's all you should use. I don't know, but that's what I've been doing. I like Vaseline. Okay. Who knew I'd ever say that on a Facebook Live? That's kind of a weird thing to say. But I do. It comes, they come in good flavors too. There's like a creme brulee or something. I don't know. Because they she said that the other chopsticks that if you use them, they kind of do the, you know, the opposite. They make you need chopstick more and more. So you're more dependent on them. I don't know. That's what she told me. Okay. Let's make our box. You're going to need two pieces of Pacific Point cardstock. This one is four and a half by four and a half. And I'm going to score it at one, one, and one all the way around. Okay, so just keep turning it one, one, and one. When I was making this on my clean recording this morning, our brand new neighbor came and rang the doorbell. And you guys know, like, here I am, there's a window right there, and there's my front door right there. <laughs> so I had to stop. And I left the video running the whole time. It was a really long video but I edited it out. I was like, lady, I'm, make, I'm making the videos. But she didn't know. It's okay. Um, the dogs, of course, went crazy. There was no way I could keep making it. This piece is, how long is this? Let me look at my notes. 
10 and 3 fourths by 2 and a half. We're going to score it at 2 and a half. This one has a lot of, lot of score lines. 3 and 5 eighths, 6 and an eighth, 7 and a fourth, and 9 and 3 fourths. All right. Okay. So we're going to set this aside and we're going to make the box bottom first. I'm gonna get my bone folder again. My um, oldest daughter had exams this week. She's a senior and she did not go to school today or all week actually. She did all her exams from home. And I mean, she's, I don't know. They barely do anything. I feel like it's, I don't know. I'm not, I mean, whatever it is what it is. Okay. So now, oh wait, no, let's do this first. Cut off the corners. I feel like she watches TV more all day than, than school. Like, like they, don't, they don't have to do a lot. I, I mean, she's taking all AP, you know, I'm like, hello. Anyhow, all right, so we cut the corners off. Now we're gonna snip these score lines on two opposite sides. It doesn't matter which two, as long as they're across from each other. Now we're gonna adhere these in like this. Okay, so these sides right here that have the little triangles on them, take any circle punch that you have and just kind of punch out a little half, not even a half circle, like a little sliver. That'll be so that you have your little notch, you know, so you can pull that drawer out. And then, oh, right here. And then grab your little pieces of designer series paper See how that one's that one's a different blue than the one on the back. This one is balmy blue, and this one looks to be night of navy. And then it, the snowflakes. We've got some pink. We've got some purple. We've got Pacific Point. So you really can't go wrong with what whatever color you you decide to go go with. All right. So these strips, I believe. Let me see. They're right here on my notes. Two and three eighths by seven eighths. All right. So I'm going to put these on the side of my box like this. Now you guys, um, my Christmas, I'm not my Christmas. Oh my gosh. Done with Christmas. My Valentine class. I am going to be working on that over the next couple of weeks. Um, look at that, how it's too long or too tall. I must have not cut it right. So now turn it over and punch. I don't consider designing. I don't consider that work. That's like, I love to do that. So I am going to be working on designing, designing projects. Um, so Valentine class will be coming as soon as I have it. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I didn't want to use that. I'm going to use liquid glue on this. So if you are, if you like my Valentine classes, just, just know it's coming. It's coming um, before, hopefully, the end of the year. Okay, now I'm going to use Tombow because you're pulling on this box you know, to get it to come out of the little drawer. Um, I feel like Tombow is a better choice because it's super strong. And then I have these little clothes pens from, I don't know, like Walmart or something, Dollar Tree. And I just use them to hold our, our glue nice and tight on there. All right. There we go, like that. All right, so now we're gonna let that dry and we'll make this part. Now this is really, at first you're gonna be like, what the heck is this, Erica? This doesn't make sense. But see how we've got this section and this section? Did I miss a score line? Hold on, no. Yes, no, I did not. Did I? I feel like I did. Yeah, I did. Hold on, hold on. I think I missed a score line. Yep. Hold on. Let's look at that again. Where's my score board? Let's check that again. What did I do? Two and a half, three and five eighths. Two and a half, three and five eighths is what I missed right here. Three and five eighths. Okay. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Yes, that is right. Because then, no, that's still not right. What did I do? Yes. You know what I did? 
Hold on, guys. I may need to get a new piece. Let me see what the heck I did. That needs to go like that. Yeah, no, okay. This score line should not be there. I scored it wrong the first time. There's all these score lines on here. So when you put the correct score lines, you're going to take this and fold it over here into the smaller section, which is right here. Okay, so that's what your box looks like. And this little part right here is your card. All right, see how it folds down into your card like that, okay? So we're ignoring that score line. We're pretending like it's not happening. All right, so there's that. Now let's make all of our little decorations for our box. Now I'm gonna show you guys, where's my grid paper right here? I'm gonna show you guys something new from the spring catalog. We have, and I know you guys have probably seen these before, but Stampin' Up! has never carried them, these blending brushes. And mine's hidden over here. They come in a three pack. Um, you, they're $12 and you get three of them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one for each color. So, and not each Stampin' Up! color. I'm gonna use like this one for blue. And you can see I've actually used it for several blues. I used it this morning and look, it's already dry. So if I was to use it on a different blue than what I used this morning, it would be fine. Um, which I, I, yesterday I used it two different blues and it was fine. So I'm going to get enough to have one for blues, yellows, greens, reds, pinks, purples. Does that make sense? Um, but they're neat. You can see it looks, on the camera, it looks like it's a foam brush, but it's not. It's these really fine, fine, fine bristles. I mean, it's super soft. So I'm sure you guys have seen these before. Honestly, I had never used them. I'd seen them, but I just had never used them. And it does really nicely. Um, it's easier to handle than, say, the dauber or a sponge. I know some people even use these for, for makeup, right? They're makeup brushes. But these are specifically designed for our inks. And they work beautifully. Now, this piece is a little bit bigger than I needed it to be because I wanted to be able to hold on to it. And we're gonna cut it down to two and three eighths by two and three eighths. All right, so then we're gonna take some Pacific Point and we're gonna stamp, actually, before we do that, let's do, we're going back to Balmy Blue and I'm gonna just stamp some snowflakes, tone on tone, all over this. I'm turning my stamp each time. Okay, and then we're gonna do some flicking, some Knight of Navy with my brush tip and I'm just gonna flick, all right? Now we're not done with this piece. We're actually gonna also emboss it. It's gonna be gorgeous, but we're gonna set it aside for just a minute because I've also got these pieces and these are for the inside. Now one thing you have to keep in mind is to watch your fingers, especially for the next project when we use Magenta Madness, you'll get the ink on your fingers. So you. It, when you're done doing this, you might want to stop and wash your hands. All right, so same with the balmy blue. And this time I'm just going to do kind of in the corner like this. The bottom right corner of one and the top right corner of the other. And notice I'm not taking my brush and like putting it down on the paper because sometimes that leaves like a hard, you know, like a ridge or whatever. Um, but if you start on your scrap paper and start blending in, you won't have any of those hard edges. All right, so thank you so much. That's cute. And then we'll do a couple of these like this and a couple of these like that. All right. Hi, Karen, Merry Christmas to you too. All right. Now, let's move all of this out of the way. We're gonna use that again in a minute, but let's bring over my cut and emboss machine, which is like buried back here. Oh, before we do that, hold on, hold on. Let's do some embossing, because then we'll just be able to cut it all at the same time. I'm gonna stamp this snowflake in craft ink, and I'm going to emboss it with white embossing powder. And the craft ink, you guys, comes as an uninked 
pad. In the catalog, it says uninked pad with craft white ink refill. I don't know why it's like that, but that's how it is. So if you're looking for it in the catalog, that's what you'll see. And I have the item number there for you. This is um, really great for white embossing powder. You can use Versamark, but I think when you use the white ink with the white powder, it makes it really bold and bright, a bright white. All right. All right, now let me get my heat tool. Merry Christmas to you, Becky. You guys believe a week from today, it'll be Christmas Day. I'm always like ready for it to just ugh, be over. I feel like the build up to Christmas is so long and so much work for moms. <laughs> it's so much work that I just, I'm always ready for it to just be over. I mean, I don't like to wish things away, but by about the middle of December, I'm like, oh, okay, enough. I never feel like I'm done shopping. The kids keep, oh, can I get this for Christmas? I'm like, hey, I'm done. Quit telling me things. And by the time we get there, they want something different than what they told me in November. And then there's all the baking and ugh, the cards. And it's, it's just a lot of work. It's fun, but it's a lot of work. Okay. That was kind of a grinchy thing for me to say, but just a lot of work. Christmas was way more fun when we were when we were kids. <laughs> for sure. All right. Why do I have this wedge in over here? Let me pull this over. We're going to cut this out with the matching dies, and then we're going to emboss with this snowflake embossing folder dies right here. Uh oh, don't tell me. Where did it go? You guys, I just used it. Uh uh, don't even tell me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I literally just used that die. Oh, come on. You're kidding. This is the second time this has happened. You guys, see, it's not this one. You know, I wonder if I put it in the recycle bin. Let's check. Oh, you know what? I took my recycling out. Hmm. Oh, hold on. I have a second set of those dice. Hold on just one second. I have a second set. I buy duplicates of dies because I do so much class prep that it comes in handy look now i have to go out to the stinky recycle bin mm. i you know every time i take my recycle bin out and i pour it into our big recycle bin in my mind i think is there something important in here that i'm throwing away because it always feels like there might be right all right well now i'm gonna have to at least it was empty our trash came yesterday Merry Christmas to you, Bonnie. Merry Christmas, Christine. You guys are so sweet. Um, you guys asking about my holder for my um, heat tool? Yes, that was also a gift from a customer. And I do believe Donna is right. Cra crafting, crafting Solutions on Etsy, it's a handle for your heat tool. I'm always getting thoughtful things from you guys. I've gotten so many Christmas cards from you all this year. And guess who hasn't done her own Christmas cards? That would be me. I don't think it's going to happen this year. I don't know. Isn't that bad? That's horrible. Sometimes something's got to give. All right, so here is this snowflake uh, winter snow. It's called winter snow embossing folder. And I want the the raised snowflakes on this side. So that means that on my embossing folder, wherever the raised snowflakes are, I'm gonna put that on the back because when I emboss it, it's gonna push up from the, from the back side. And I took off plate two. Oh, <laughs> hi Stacy. Brooks threw out your TV remote. You know what I keep finding is that we're missing spoons, right? Or, and then suddenly we're, we can't, we don't have any forks. 
Does that happen to you guys? Well, let me tell you, last week when I went to throw something away, there was a spoon on top of the trash. Somebody threw their spoon away. I don't get it. I guess maybe they're eating like a yogurt or something and they throw their yogurt away and the spoon. <sighs> yeah. Do you do y'all do do y'all does that happen at your house? It's like a mystery. Suddenly we have like one spoon. It's very annoying. Okay, I'm gonna cut this one down to two and three eighths by two and three eighths. I believe it is already two and three eighths wide. So all we have to do is that. And then we're gonna start adhering all of these. Thank goodness I had that extra die. Oh, definitely, definitely is one of those days. All right, so this one's gonna go on the inside like that. <laughs> Catherine, same thing happens to you. So, okay, I need new silver I set. So let me just tell you, you know, when I got married 22 years ago, I got fancy silverware. You know, you register. Remember back in the day when we would register and all that? Well, none of that's, I don't have any of that anymore. It's all gone. Who knows? In the trash, landfill somewhere. Um, when you guys put this in here, you might have to squeeze it a little bit, okay, to get it in. So I buy, now I buy spoons and forks from Ikea and Target and TJ Maxx because they throw them away. I don't know. Someday we'll have nice things again. Okay, look. Look how pretty that is. See how I embossed it, stamped it, splattered it, sponged it? So pretty. All right. We're going to put that on there. And then glue dots. Oh, styrofoam containers. Lisa, I didn't think about that, like um, leftovers or takeout or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. My kids eat a lot of yogurt and a lot of ice cream. Although the ice cream, they would put in a regular bowl. Uh, I think it's the yogurt because they just go and just automatically throw, you know. <laughs> All right. We're almost done. I'm going to take one of these blue... Um, rhinestones right there and there you have it thank you so much snow much and then it just pulls out like that all right this is a good gift for your friends who don't want candy in January you know we're all going to be on a diet in January so <laughs> if you have uh, friends or coworkers you want to give them something this would be a good one okay there we go project number two we are ready for project number three I cannot believe I'm gonna have to look for that die Ugh. I did find my poinsettia die just this week. If you were here several weeks ago when I lost my poinsettia die, it was down in that box with all the other dies. It had fallen down in there. I was so glad because that's an expensive set of dies. I did not want to lose one. Okay, last but not least, we're going to make, and you know what? I forgot on the video to round the corner, so let me grab that. Whoa, I sent this for you about to fall. Um, so this is the gift card holder that I have made many times and, um, we gave the teachers, you know, when your kids get older, they have more than one teacher. So then your budget really gets spread thin. So we got $10, uh, Torchy's Tacos gift cards for them. We love Torchy's Tacos. I think it's kind of a local Texas thing. I don't know. Do you guys have Torchy's Tacos other places? I don't think so. But anyway, we bought those and I made a bunch of these yesterday and they filled them out this uh, last night and sent them to school. So I have these two left. I'm going to show you how to make them. This is easy peasy. It will not take you long to make this gift card holder. Okay, so you're going to start out with piece of white cardstock. Oh, you guys, we haven't talked about the white cardstock problem. <laughs> um, hopefully you got word that the mill that produces all of our Whisper White shut down, like going out of business. So Stampin' Up! has found a comparable product for our white, thick white, Whisper White, white envelopes, note cards, all that. Um, but we don't have it in the warehouse yet. So right now, our thick white cardstock is sold out. Our envelopes were on low inventory yesterday. The Whisper White cardstock is still available the last time I checked, but limit two per person. So fingers crossed that the new, it's gonna be called basic white cardstock, is gonna be just the same. They said that it is 
very similar that the concept artists like it. Everybody likes it. So that's the situation with the white card stock. I'm going to tell you, <laughs> it caused me quite the panic last week when they said, no more white card stock. Anyhow, there's bigger problems in life, right? But for me, that was a pretty, pretty big scare. Anyhow, back to this. This is Whisper White Thick. If you don't have Whisper White Thick, you could use something else. Um, so you guys are talking about torchies. Joe, do you have it in Colorado? Irene, Taco Bell, not the same. While I do appreciate Taco Bell, torchies is, torchies serves margaritas. <laughs> so that'll tell you. It's a little bit different. And their margaritas are amazing. And their queso is my favorite food on the planet. So there's that. Their tacos are good too, but their queso and their margaritas so good. So I figured a $10 Torchies gift card would buy their teachers a margarita. And that's what they got. You know, middle school teachers, they need some margaritas. Okay, so this is a four and a fourth by, let me look at my notes, nine and a half. And we're going to score it at four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. Okay. Then you've got a piece of um, magenta madness that is four by four and a fourth. On the four inch side, you're going to score it. You know what? I think I'm going to change this just a little bit. I said scored at three, but I'm going to say, I'm going to change my mind and I'm going to say we're just going to score it at three quarters of an inch. All that's going to do is make this a little bit longer because the snowflake, see, I went a little bit too far. So if I just made it a quarter inch longer, I think the snowflake will fit a little bit better. Okay, so the notes say one inch, but you could do three quarters of an inch too, okay? Um, so Torchies does not have a drive-through, no. Um, it is a sit down, but you go and you order at the counter and then you go sit down. So it's, it's in the middle of like a sit down restaurant and like a fast food. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's so good. Okay. Now, focus. <laughs> we are going to ink this in the same manner that we did a minute ago, except we're going to do some masking. We have a larger section here and a smaller section up here. On the smaller section, we're going to stamp the sentiment. Let me grab my ink from the other tray. Magenta Madness. Snowflake wishes for a Merry Christmas. And of course, change the sentiment if you want to do something different. Okay, now I'm going to bring out my favorite post-it tape. And what did I do? I'm going to use the tape that I had earlier today so I don't waste. This is post-it tape. It looks like this. I linked it today on my blog. You need it. I'm telling you. it's. I love it. Post-it note, tape. Okay, so you're going to take this and line your card up. Grid paper helps. Line it up. Then take your tape. And we're going to tape over this and I'm going to use the grid lines over here on my grid paper to make sure that that's straight. So see, I lined it up with those. Then I'm going to take another piece of post-it tape and I'm going to go across the top up here. And I, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do all, I'm going to do a little bit higher like this and like that. Line it up with those lines. Okay. Now, see, here's my pink brush. Take your brush and start over on the edge and do the inking. All right, and you can just do this as little or as much as you'd like. But again, don't, see how that's like a hard, like if I start right there, it leaves kind of like a hard mark. So start over on the side and move in or up top like that. Okay. Now we'll do a couple of snowflakes, also in magenta. Do one there, kind of off and up. And I've got one more there, like that, okay? Okay, now here's where we needed to wash our hands. I'm gonna take this, slowly peel it off. The, the ink is still on the tape, so you're gonna get it on your fingers. Look, I already have a little bit right there. All right, so, but look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. You know what, I didn't do the splattering. You can also take your um, stamp and write, no, your stamp and blend and flick the ink on there too. I did it on here. You see that? Just for more, for more texture. 
All right, so let's move this and hope that I don't get this all over me. All right, bring, or all over my card. Bring over your cut and emboss machine and we're gonna use the bigger snowflake die. That looks like, and I didn't throw this one away, looks like this. When I first went to use this, I thought I was cutting out a snowflake, but it doesn't cut out the snowflake. It cuts just the holes so that you have, um, you know, the snowflake design in your paper. You'll see when I cut it. Yeah, Lisa, if you don't get that much to show up, you re-ink, okay? Um, Re-inking will definitely will definitely make a difference. I could tell with my um, my blue, hello, what's that color? Balmy blue, I could tell that that one needed to be re-inked because I wasn't getting a whole lot of ink on there. All right, so now we're gonna take this off and I'm gonna use my take your pick tool and my dye brush. And these little, these little doodads, this is what I call them, doodads. There's this, these ones that look like little hearts. Can you guys see them right here? Look, they're like little tiny hearts. All right, this one's being stubborn, and so is this one. Let's get my other end of my take your pick tool, and we'll just get it out like that. All right, now, I have to use my, I have to use my, um, my new gadget, ready? Oh, I love it. I don't know why that makes me so excited, but it does. <laughs> okay, now, no, that's not the missing one. That's the one that I pulled from the other set, Debbie. I thought that at first too, but that's the one I pulled from the other set, I think. I have all of my dies from the holiday catalog in a box right now. I'm gonna sort them out and pack them up. So I'm gonna have to make sure I'm not missing any. So see how I put the dimensionals around the snowflake like that. All right, now take your scissors and we're gonna cut these corners like this. See how it just kind of made that window? You could do glimmer paper under there, you could do pattern paper, but it just leaves that, that space, or it leaves the, the, the holes of the snowflake there. Okay, so now back over here. We're gonna take this middle score line and we're gonna fold it up. And then the back one goes up and this one goes up like that. And I'm getting ink on it. That's okay, we're gonna cover that up. Now take this, see how that is? Pointy like that, point it up. I'm gonna staple it to the back like that, okay? And that's where your gift card's gonna go. Now, get your adhesive and we're gonna put adhesive on this tab here and we're gonna fold it in and match those corners right there okay so now that's how it looks doop, doop. and of course we have designer series paper to put in here this is the oh I like that pattern what do I want to use I'm gonna use it on the other one um, this is from the In Color um, DSP pack. All right, and I used the different prints. So we have polka dots, and each little piece is different. We'll use that one right there. So then, oh, I forgot to round the corners. I need to do that. So then your gift card goes right there. Um, corner rounder. I like to round these corners. It's, you don't have to but I like to do it. I just think it looks nicer rounded. All right, so stay in there. Now, to keep it super duper simple, I punched out a story label punch and I was gonna stamp a snowflake on there, but let's see, I think I can still do it. I'll just do like a snowflake right there. And so my kids wrote to Mr. So-and-so from Addy or whatever. And then we just cut out some white snowflakes and we just kind of, you know, decorated them around. That seems off-centered. I need one there and one there, but I only have one. All right, now, the magnets. I love these magnets. I have them linked on my blog as well. All right, 
There we go. I will put the link for that vacuum on my blog today. So you guys, if you want it, it's so cute. It would make a great stocking stuffer if you can get it here before Christmas. I don't know. All right, so glue dots work fine, but I think Tombow works better with these magnets. All right, so I put one there and there, and then you close it up like that. And then, well, I didn't give enough time stick. And then it goes like that, right? Now, last but not least, we need some bling. So let me use my putty end, and I only have a few of these left. Whoops. So have any of you gotten your catalog in the mail yet? I'm wondering. Stampin' Up mailed my catalogs for me. They're not coming from me, they're coming from Stampin' Up. And they're coming bulk mail. There we go. All right. Isn't that neat? And if you go back and look at my post in December 2019, you'll see several different versions of this as well. I did one with the moose. I did all kinds of things with it. Oh, I thought we were going to make it through one Facebook Live without Charlie barking. Oh, well. All right, you guys, that's it. I will share that vacuum link with you guys as soon as I'm done, okay? Because it's so cute. I know you're going to want it. All right, so we made gift card holders. We made not a triple bath bomb box, but a triple gumball box. <laughs> and not to be confused with bath bombs. And we made the little Vaseline slider box, okay? Now, remember, all of this is over on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, right here. Uh, PDF is free under the last photo. All orders between now and the 4th, over $50, will get a pack of free handmade cards for me. I'm not doing the make and takes this time. We'll start that again in January, all right? Okay, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you have questions, I will be checking my email. It may not be as quick as I would like. Um, and the magnets are already linked on my blog, Donna. Those are already there. I will go, I will go do the vacuum, too. Um, you want to see the magnets again? It's just a button magnet, and I used a glue dot on either side of it, and it just snaps. See how that is? Awesome. I love them. I use them all the time, and they're pretty inexpensive, and they're tiny. So that magnet link is there on my blog, and I'll share the vacuum link with you guys in just a minute when I'm done, okay? Have a Merry Christmas, you guys. Um, I Oh, good, Carol. You got your, your catalog. Good. So some people are, are getting them. I will be back the day the new catalog goes live, January 5th. We'll do a special Facebook Live that day. And I will be sending out emails and doing some blog posts about Valentine class and some other things coming up, I'm sure, between now and then. But I will not see you on live again until the 5th. So you guys have a Merry Christmas. Stay safe and get some rest and relax. Thanks, everybody. Bye.